So you might be familiar with the Xbox One Elite controller. Now, that's been on the market now for, I want to say, close to a year, if not coming up on it very, very soon. And that controller has done exceptionally well in the market. It's a $150 scuff replacement, and for that price, you can't hate too much. Plus, it was some pretty good quality. I'm saying pretty good because I'm still a scuff fanboy at heart, but... I do believe that you PS4 guys out there are in luck. I'm thinking the PS4 is going to get an elite slash scuff like controller straight from the manufacturer and I think it's going to be cool. I think Sony knows what they're doing whenever it comes to controllers and making controllers look cool, especially when it comes down to color. I think the color of the PS4 and the PS3 controllers are the best, you know, like different color options that they have. Um, and I'm not knocking Xbox and I'm not knocking the Elite controller, but I do think that the PS4 Elite controller is going to be cool and it's going to be a lot better than your standard PS4 controller you have now. My guess, if I were to guess what they would do, just holding my PS4 controller now, is actually make triggers. I cannot stand this this mushy, weird, feels like there's a ball of hair in the bottom of the triggers. I'm hoping they make really nice spring-loaded triggers, maybe even some trigger stops, um, and of course paddles on the back. I don't know what they're going to do there, um, and maybe, I don't know, maybe do something a little bit different with the trackpad. Maybe have removable thumbsticks just like the Xbox One Elite controller, but they don't want to be all gimmicky and make the buttons light up. Maybe just like just the triangle, circle, square, and X. Just those lines. Make those light up each color, but not too, too bright. Just very, very subtle. I think that they could do a really good job with it, and especially with the light on the back of the controller, I'm sure like with all these stickers that are coming out, I'm surprised I have not got a PS4 light sticker yet. I'm sure it's going to be like, I don't know what they're going to call it, let's just call it the Elite, because it's definitely not going to be the Elite, but like the Elite text as like a sticker or something on the back of that light, and it shines through Elite or something like that. I know that they're going to do a good job with the Elite controller whenever they come out with, well, the Elite light controller. Uh, and a little bit of proof I have for this is not me just rambling on. There is actually a patent from Sony for a controller that does have paddles on the back. So that thing might be coming out soon. It might be something that ships stock with a PS4.5, I think it's called, the 4.5K or something. I don't know. Something like that. It could be one of those. It could be one of those like extras that you can pick up it might just come out i think what they should do and this is just my opinion is whenever the xbox one s comes out they need to drop their elite controller to uh kind of balance cells out because you know ps4 people are gonna be like oh no look at the xbox upgrading and they're due for an upgrade next year while the ps4 is just staying the same for whether it be one year or two years or right around the corner so i think the smart move for sony if they already have this made is to go ahead and drop it like right along or maybe right after you do not want to do it before maybe just like right after the xbox one s comes out and that's really going to hit up youtube videos and it's going to be really good for sony now on the xbox side of the things it's not going to be that good uh the xbox one s videos are going to get lost in youtube but i hope you guys enjoyed this video a little bit of an informative video uh, telling you guys a little bit about the PS4's new Elite controller look-alike. Maybe there's not a lawsuit. Scuff for the win, baby. Hope you guys enjoy this piece.